What's up guys, Blackscape here, and I want to take just a few moments of this video to give a shout out, a quick shout out, to Saiyan Scholar's newest video. He dropped one on his backup channel because Toei Animation has issued some copyright strikes that don't allow him to produce any content on his main channel until those strikes are resolved. Now he is fighting tooth and nail on those strikes, but he only has a few days before his channel could possibly be terminated, so I want to get his response out there to you guys because the videos that got copyrighted weren't even leaks they weren't even anything to do with the Dragon Ball Super anime from what I know they seem to be all theory videos and what ifs what ifs guys are getting targeted by Toei Animation of course this is the way they treat us after Super has been announced and we have kept the fandom alive the what if channels, the Dragon Ball fan animation channels, music channels, and fan manga channels have kept Dragon Ball alive all these years. And now that the new movie is coming out, they start issuing strikes. So I urge Saiyan Scholar to fight this tooth and nail. And that's kind of why I'm giving him a little bit of the floor here for you guys to check out his newest video once you're done here, of course. That way you guys can go ahead and hear it from his mouth and see exactly what he has to say about these strikes and make sure to support his backup channel. We stick together here on the Black Squad. Let's go ahead and jump right into the video. I would say the consensus of Dragon Ball Super's new movies animation style is that people want Shintani back. They want Dragon Ball Super Broly's animation back. They don't want anything else. They just want that maybe with a little bit better CGI because we can all agree that the CGI in Dragon Ball Super Broly for the most part when it came to characters wasn't that good but the effects were pretty top notch. But there is a possibility this could be a Dragon Ball Super movie that is in a completely different medium such as CGI or 3D similar to the Dragon Quest movie so a lot of fans are not okay with this but I would urge you guys to keep an open mind and with that I jump into today's topic which is a new Dragon Ball Z animation project and of course this is 3D animation guys. Now this project dropped in 2019 but it is unclear when it is going to finally be done. All we know is that they had about a little bit over two year time period that they were thinking this project was going to be done and then of course the pandemic hit so we don't know how far behind they are with this project but we do know that there is a trailer coming soon and what essentially this project does is it brings all all the major events and moments from Dragon Ball Z and bring it into a 3D medium so they have brand new character models not only for Goku and Vegeta but several other characters with high level detail animation and 3D animation techniques and rendering that make this a completely different project than anything else that exists at this moment and I for one am excited for this trailer and see what it has to offer. I'm also so very afraid honestly because toy animation i mean they're going for what ifs are they gonna go for this as well when it finally drops if it starts trending are they going to copyright strike this it is bananas what is going on over there with toy animation and shueisha the way they disrespect their communities the way they disrespect their fandoms it sucks because projects like these that have hours and weeks and days and months worth of focus and attention, blood, sweat, and tears could be just Thanos snapped out of existence out of just a copyright strike that really holds no real meaning basically because it completely spits in the face of fair use here in the west and if it's being made in the west if it's being made under the laws of fair use then i'm 100 on that side in japan of course they have other laws they have other rules they play by other rules so if you make stuff over there that's dragon ball you could be liable but here in the states here in the west in europe all those laws are completely different so honestly it gives the opportunity for projects like these to thrive and that is what's going on with Dragon Ball Z Legacy. A project helmed by Olivier Schmidt 
who has 12 years working as a CG artist, has studied 3D animations in Paris for four years, and has an ensemble of different animators, a team that really loves Dragon Ball, has a lot of experience in CGI and 3D animation, and is ready to make something that the world has never seen before, a full 3D Dragon Ball trailer. We have not seen that ever yet. Other projects have come close, but they have all fizzled out because of circumstances similar to what we've seen from Toei Animation and Shueisha. Now, the difference between this project and some of the other ones that we've seen, such as DBZ Tribute, is that this one is backed by a company called Fox Render Farm, who has the technology that is being used to make this 3D animation process. So there's a huge name behind this little project, this little fan-made project, that more than likely will go to bat for these guys once the world gets eyes on their project and if the wrong eyes see it and try to copyright it. But not only that, there is a tremendous team that has a various experience and is worldwide that really is giving it their all for this project. Now during this article, which I'm going to leave a link to in the description below in the top comment, as well as the Facebook group that has more recent information, in this article it's essentially an interview and Fox Render Farm asks Olivier, what is the story of the team project and what do you want to express through the work? 30 Dragon Ball characters are selected. Any reasons why you choose them in your work. Olivier Schmidt explains, the story is to recreate between on three and four minute video clips with many of the best moments of DBZ action. The thing we want to express is to have chills to do this job and give chills to the audience who will watch the video. The 30 characters selected are all characters who have influenced the most the story of Dragon Ball Z. So the way I'm thinking about it, if it's three to four minutes each video saga, each battle, each moment, then it could be very similar to some of the earlier games Games in Dragon Ball Z where the intro was 3D animation especially one of my favorite ones here where it showcases all the villains and all the heroes fighting in a 3D animation space but of course this project is going to have higher depth in its HD quality and more intensity in its fight animations. With 60 artists working on Dragon Ball Z Legacy, this is going to be something to behold. With artists first making character sheets that are unique and custom to Dragon Ball Z Legacy, then going on the render and CGI process, 3D process, making the sculpture, making the renders, all culminating in rigging and optimizing the character for best quality and fidelity this is going to be a project like you've never seen before and it seems like they got characters and moments from all different parts of Dragon Ball Z such as Android 18 they have Frieza, Vegeta, Majin Vegeta to the latest one where we see a fully realized 3D model of Majin Buu versus Goku this is the latest update that they have back in May May 6 so only a few days ago showing that they're still working on this project and soon hopefully soon they are going to have the brand new trailer now if they're listening to me or they have watched up to this point of the video I would love to get my hands on that trailer if you guys don't have a YouTube channel to drop it on I open my doors up to you guys but if you guys do have a YouTube channel which I couldn't find I could only find the Facebook group let me know the link to it and I will share that as well to support this project and all its Dragon Ball Z 3d goodness so with this, I urge you guys to have an open mind on the future of Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball can be anything. If you guys know anything about my channel, Dragon Ball can be anything. It is the most malleable anime and show out there. And so when you see this, 3D does not look that bad and it could be done well. And this is this is fan made. These are fans doing this. Imagine if they had so much money behind it. Imagine if the mouse was able to fund a Dragon Ball Z project in the Pixar quality. This would look phenomenal and you guys would watch it day one. Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this whole project, Dragon Ball Z Legacy. And if you made it to this point in the video, you are now part of the hashtag end of video squad. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Make sure to drop that comment with that hashtag for a chance to be featured in my next video. Today, I'm going to be responding to Robert Sequeira. For this movie, I desperately want Cooler to return to canon with updated version of his final form, which I agree on. Then have Broly finally return to 
the manga or in the manga. Yeah, honestly, uh, the second part, I might want that a little bit more because I think that because Broly is part of the universe, we're talking about Granola, his grudge against the Saiyans. I think it'd be cool to see Broly in that story. Cooler, I really do want him, but there are other ways they could go with this. They could go a Janembo way, they can go a Bojack way, or they can make a completely new villain, a completely new hero, or go Yamashi. This is going to be Blackscape signing off. Thank you so much for your comment, Robert Zagira. Subscribe for more content.